Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Perfect for another thrift trip. You can totally tell that I took advantage of the sun being out. I'm wearing a t-shirt because um, it's been a little while since I pulled out my short sleeve shirts. I gotta admit, Toronto's taking its sweet ass time and bringing us summer, but hopefully today, when we go thrifting, we're gonna send some good vibes out into the universe and let mother nature know that we're just ready with our spring wardrobe so she can bring it our way. Got the sweats on, so we're extra comfortable for all the changing we're gonna be doing. And let's head on in. Let's go ahead and check out and see if we can find ourselves some nice light wash jeans here. The men's denim was literally absolutely packed. Like packed, there's so much people there right now. So I'm like, I'll get back to that later. I've just been loving to wear like men's joggers lately. Smallest size, specifically like Adidas, my absolute favorite. So for the springtime, I want to be fun, I want to be comfortable. Let's see what joggers we can find. Just a nice gray pair, has the little Nike symbol here and on the back. red adidas track pants um they aren't tapered at the bottom they may look a little i'll try them on anyway guys could it be look what i just found in the new rack oh my god these are beautiful size 29 perfect denim so expensive though but honestly if i turn these into shorts oh. basically i just told myself i'm only gonna skim the sweater section because i just don't need any more sweaters and I'm telling myself it's getting warmer but I did find this one while I was browsing just this Tommy Hilfiger fleecy one um, I'm gonna leave it behind just thought I would show it to you because it is a pretty cool find but it does have a little bit of a questionable stain there plus it's $15 and like that's it no more Haley. you don't need no more sweaters so now I'm probably just gonna go ahead and check out some vintage tees I love them I wear them all the time and you guys really love whenever I show you which vintage tees I find there's also a bunch of hats here so maybe we'll get successful with a nice little bucket hat here I went through the t-shirts, I'll show you a couple things that I found. This one, like I told you guys, the whole tie-dye trend is back, so it's just like a more casual, simple way to incorporate that trend if you want to do tie-dye but you don't want to go like too vibrant. And then I found this t-shirt, which I kind of thought it was really cool, really into all the neons, especially if it's like a little hint or pop of neon. And then these two Budweiser t-shirts. Ask me if I drink beer, I do not. Ask me if I drink at all, I do not. But these t-shirts were pretty cool and I've been seeing a couple brands recreating t-shirts such as this. The yellow vintage with the Just Do It logo with the Nike symbol on the front. So the men's section today was a bit of a... But we're gonna go into the women's, which makes more sense because to be honest, a lot of the trends we're looking for, you're probably gonna find in the women's section. Guys, I'm such a dum-dum. I only now realized why everything is so picked over. Apparently there's a sale today where it's like 50% off all t-shirts and tops and short sleeve stuff. Cause on sale days, everybody gets in here like so early. They also don't bring out any like new um, racks for like whatever's on sale. So that's probably why I haven't had any luck today. Some neon Adidas in the little boy section. Yes. When I went to the personal section, I actually found this is just this like denim satchel bag from Diesel. It really reminded me of like the kind of stuff that everybody was wearing around the 2000s. Thought it was pretty sick, so I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. I just found this like pretty cool denim jacket. The inside is all like fleecy, but guys, it's a Levi's jacket. Ah, oh, that's pretty sick. Okay, so back in the car, I got a couple of the goods. I think I got about four items, but still thought I'd include this first little thrift trip because the reality is you really never know what you're gonna get. I did a quick little poll on Instagram asking you guys if you still wanted me to make this video even though I only got like five or six items. Most of you said yes, so I'm gonna go ahead now and show you everything that I did get. 
Okay guys, so I just want you to keep in mind that um, I actually didn't try anything on at the actual store because like I told you, because it was a sale day, the line was crazy long. So this top and bottom is the first thing that I got. This is just a cute little yellow t-shirt that says just do it and has like a circle with the Nike symbol in the middle. I just thought it was pretty unique. I've never seen a t-shirt like this before. So I picked that one up and this one was $4.99, but it was 50% off. So it was $2.50. And then for the jeans, you guys saw these jeans. They were the Tommy Hilfiger ones. So I'm normally a size 28, these are a size 29 men's and they're a little bit big on me I have to say as you can see here, but they actually do fit this part really well So what I had in mind for these which will make them perfect for summer is I'm probably gonna end up turning them into shorts I think these Tommy Hilfiger pants would honestly make such perfect shorts because of the fact that they're baggy If I crop them, they're gonna be more of like those looser fit shorts, which I actually really like and then I actually ended up finding this little Bucket hat which has a cute little owl on it and honestly this just reminds me of the owl of OVO fest I thought it was really cute the inside is really colorful I probably wouldn't show it but it was two dollars and fifty cents and I don't know what it is about this bucket hat but I'm liking it. I'm liking this whole vibe. Oh my god, it looks ridiculous, but I found this little purse or a satchel bag, I guess. It's like made out of denim. It is so freaking cool. Obviously not in the outfit that I'm wearing right now, but this item I think is so sick. So many cool different ways to style it. Really gives me like all those 2000s vibes. Don't I look like a 2000s chick off to her like culture studies class in college? And it was only $2.99, which is like even more insane. Such a good price for a really sick vintage bag like this. And then for this next item I found, obviously I'm not gonna wear it with these bottoms because these bottoms are baggy. As you can probably see, there is an overall theme here of just getting a bunch of denim. I'm really into denim lately, and I think this top is so freaking cute. It's actually vintage from Guess, which is amazing. It has this amazing like fraying here at the bottom. I just think this denim top would look so cool with maybe even a skirt, maybe even some tights or leggings. But I really like it, again, giving me those major 2000s vibes, which is what I'm really loving right now. And then the last little thing I picked up was honestly just a really good basic. It's just a simple white t-shirt with the Nike swoosh right here. It was originally like $10 and I'm like, okay, $10 is way too much to spend. But because it was a sale day, it ended up being five bucks. And I'm like, okay, for $5, why not? Because it's a small size, it fits really well. And even if I just want to have like a simple basic tee with a little bit of an athleisure touch, this one will be really cute. Plus, I have to say it definitely goes with my little uh, Nike swoosh necklaces. Really nicely, I'm liking that. So yeah guys, that is everything that I picked up on today's thrift trip. I know that it was a little bit messy and all over the place, but the main reason as to why I still wanted to upload this vlog is because I wanna show all of you guys who are constantly commenting on all my videos saying, how do I always get so lucky? How am I always so successful at thrift stores? There's days that you can go, and listen, I'm not gonna say I didn't get lucky, I did find a couple pieces, but it's nothing close to how much I usually find. And if there's anything you can take away from this video that I would advise, if you're somebody who wants to go on a sale day, try to be the first one there. What I notice on sale days is that they either don't bring out any new stuff whatsoever the entire day or they only bring out like a few pieces like you saw they were bringing out new jeans and stuff but because the tops were on sale they weren't bringing out any new tops so what I kind of suggest is by going first on sale days you're probably gonna have the most to choose from not everything will be so picked over another tip on sale days is you can actually go check sections that people probably won't be looking for so go check out things like the lingerie section like the little girls or little boys section they're probably not as picked over on sale days either and again just try to keep an open mind some of the pieces I got were a little bit out there, but I'm still happy to have added a few of these unique items into my wardrobe. I'm gonna try to go thrifting again next week when hopefully some of the items get restocked. There's no sale day, so things won't be as picked over, and I'll be sure to film an entire thrift with me for spring and spring trends video. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if that's something you'd be interested in. Love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!